Successful people share several traits that make them stand out. And most of these traits are something that you could achieve as well. It's not because they came from a rich background or they were born with a silver spoon. It's because they stuck to their habits. And as someone who has had several successful businesses and careers, I can assure you that these habits are tried and tested. Here are the seven habits that all successful people have in common. Hey guys, my name is Munif, just a humble multimillionaire who started several brick and mortar businesses with billions of dollars in sales. And I'm here to help you with your success and your journey towards success. So let's get started. If you wanna be successful, you need to set goals. Without goals, you're just wishfully thinking that hard work will somehow make you successful. That's just as hard as winning the mega ball lottery. Anyone can work hard, but that doesn't mean it'll take you to the places you need to go. By setting goals, you establish what you want to see in your life and makes it easier for you to then take the steps you need to make to get there. Separate your goals into end goals and mini goals. Your end goals should be your primary vision of your life. And your mini goals are the small wins you get in life. You know, your day to day, your week to week, your month to month. It'll all help you reach your end goal, like getting a raise or getting promoted or whatever it is for you. And to help you stick to your end goal, you always need to ask yourself why you want this goal. And a lot of times you can always go back to your whys to reinvigorate and re-energize yourself by remembering your purpose to get back on your feet and to chase your dreams down. Yeah. Successful people take complete responsibility for their success and even their failures. They never play the victim role, but they take accountability when mistakes are made. If something doesn't go their way, they learn from it and grow from it and continuously strive to make massive improvements. They don't dwell on their past because we all suffer setbacks, but successful people don't blame others, whatever the circumstances they're in. And instead, they focus on moving on to a better future. Regardless what happened to you in the past, it's still in your hands to decide your better future. If you look at the most successful people in the world, they all have a great sense of self-discipline. Some wake up consistently at a particular hour. Some are consistent with their workout. By having a great sense of discipline, it's easier to stay consistent with whatever successful people do in life. And if you want to be like these people, you must check how you use your time. When you're alone, do you spend most of your time on social media or playing video games or talking on the phone? Your free time is not really free time at all. It's valuable. So discipline yourself to take your free time and make improvements and adjustments. Do something that's actually gonna benefit your future and do it with purpose. Successful people are always obsessed with self-development. You can't be a successful person if you've stopped looking for ways to improve yourself. The world always changes. What's working right now for you may change in the near future. It's best to keep up and strive to make improvements in yourself, your skills, and your business. A lot of times, you need to keep up with the latest stuff to stay relevant in your field of choice. This is why I always advocate in a business to have a culture of people who are teachable and coachable. Because if you don't try to make improvements in yourself and the people around you, you are getting behind, you're slipping behind, and you're losing opportunities to grow in your career. That could be you. If you decided against mediocrity, you're gonna continue to improve. There are plenty of ways to learn about what's going on in today's technology. You can listen to podcasts. You can watch YouTube videos like this one. You can join forums. You can share your beliefs about success. And if not, you can personally take some time to talk to people you look up to. Don't be afraid to try new things. And remember, the more you learn, the more your potential to earn. Look, the grind culture is important for success, but taking time for yourself is equally as important. Successful people use their free time to rejuvenate themselves by reading books, by meditating, by working out. Don't use most of your free time posting unnecessary stuff on social media. It's just better to have some quality time for yourself. You can listen to your favorite music. You could listen to a podcast or audiobook. Learn to prioritize things in your life that are going to help you remind yourself of your goals so that when that workday comes back again, you're set and focused on achieving your goals. Successful people are rarely phased by the task they have in front of them and that they're facing. They take stress well and they don't feel overwhelmed by the mountain of tasks on their to-do list. And this happens because successful people learn to manage their time well. They always plan ahead. And I'm not just talking about weekly to-do list planning. I'm talking about planning months and even years in advance. Remember that if you want to be successful, you have to have your important goals always in the front of your mind. That means always prioritizing the tasks that are most important to you and do the insignificant ones later. So 
by prioritizing and managing your time, it's easier for you to thus reach your goals. Mark your calendars because every Monday I'm releasing a new version of the Munif Ali podcast. The topics will be anything related from finance to financial development and personal development to help you succeed in life. You're also going to have an exclusive access to my interviews with other successful people who can give you the tips and wisdom needed to become a millionaire. Hope you join us there. The last thing you should know about successful people is that they're willing to take risks. If you're afraid to take risks, you won't get anywhere in life. And would you rather live a life of regret rather than take that risk right now that could redefine your future? Something that will help you reach your end goal one day. If you want that goal realized, you need to take a chance. I'm not talking about just carelessly taking risk. What I'm talking about is oftentimes people don't take risk because they fear failure. But that very fear is something you need to overcome to take it to the next level. Go and take a risk and live your life sometimes. And imagine if great leaders in the world never managed to take risks. Can you imagine what it would be like if Martin Luther King or Steve Jobs or Elon Musk didn't take risks? What would happen to their success? Only those that are willing to take the risk are also the ones that are heard, also are the ones that become successful. So those are the seven habits that make successful people successful. And if you want to know whatever version of success is yours, whether it's becoming a multimillionaire or learning to be the best in your craft or field, learn to focus on your self-discipline. Become obsessed with self-improvement. Learn to manage your time. Don't be afraid of taking risks. And remember to allot some time for yourself and try to apply these to your daily life. What will also improve your life is by clicking that like and subscribe button and making sure that you click the notification bell so that you get notified when I have a new video. Also, comment down below and let me know your thoughts on some of these habits and which ones you're practicing and which ones you want to introduce to all of us. Thank you for watching. If you wanna learn more about success, watch this video next on the seven habits of all successful people.